It is about 60 kilometers away from main commercial hub town Dimapur. Perched on a hillock lies this small quiet village under Perrin district, Nagaland. The village shares its boundaries in the northeastern side with the neighboring Suwuma, Angami village and Gurley village in the southwest side respectively. Considered as one of the most cleanest village within its district, people from nearby places often comes to visit it. This hornbill structure gate standing at the village entrance, commonly known as Perrin District Gate. Within approximately of 300 households, most of the villagers depends on cultivating agricultural products for their living. Varieties of organic vegetables, fruits etc. are harvested from the mountains, such as ginger, tomatoes, garlic, squash, yam, eggplants, king chili, misinga pata, bananas and many more. This local products are later sold out in nearby markets. This famous range, commonly known as the Triple Mountain by the village folks. Built in the 1960s, this uphill long footpath leads towards the village. It has around 860 steps skillfully placed with cut stones. There are three denominations namely Baptist, Catholic, and Christian Revival. Simultaneously there are three clans, Kells, each having its own moorings. These clans are headed by their own Gonbaras. The village community hall was inaugurated by Sri Nifu Rio, CM Nagaland on 10 February 2006. This seating gallery was built in the year 2000. It has a capacity of around 6 to 700 people to sit and witness various functions and events. Maintaining its unique traditions and customs practices, festivals are observed accordingly by both young and old. Singing, dancing, feasting and merrymaking during this festive seasons are observed. On this special occasions, traditional attires are worn by both young and old. Dancing are generally performed in groups. Folk songs narrates the stories of braveries, victory, romance stories etc. Even at their old ripe age, these two elders are ready to combat. Displaying their talents. Wrestling has always been part of the events. To promote and inculcate this practice, the village council gives cash awards to individuals under category wise. Sports are played occasionally, different tournaments are held throughout the year. On such occasions VIPs, officers are often invited to grace the events. Men's, women's, boys and girls take part in different activities. Recently youngsters football coaching are underway with the initiative of some enthusiastic and energetic youths. It provides free coaching to this young football lovers with an aim to improve and to develop sportsmanship. This training starts from the grassroots level. The first gravity goods ropeway in Pungalwa, Nagaland. Inaugurated on 16 September 2019, projected by NERLP, under the Ministry of Donner. 2X75KW Hydroelectric Project was formally commissioned and inaugurated by the then CM, TR Zeliang on 21 December 2017. Teshora Integrated Farming is another popular project producing strawberries, besides mushroom cultivating and poultry rearing. Sainik School Pungalwa was established in 2007, managed by the Sainik School Society, under the Ministry of Defence. Trees saplings plantations by the Pungalwa Youth Organisation on the roadside. 
a resting shade by the village approach roadside built by PYO. See you all soon in my next episode. Thanks.